Well, hey there, and welcome back for another Secondhand Opinions video, The Goodwill of Good Ideas. I'm Jason Alderman, and I'll be dispensing of the two cents. You may have noticed a bit of a theme in my videos recently, mostly on the idea of people in positions of power getting caught and investigated, etc., or people who are taking advantage of our children getting busted or those children getting saved. This one's about a fella from New Zealand who's on the lam out of California for doing the same. Let's go over here to New York Post and take a look at it. FBI offers $10,000 reward for help in finding fugitive and massive thing I can't say anymore. The FBI is offering a reward of up to $10,000 for information leading to the capture of a New Zealand man who reportedly left his pet cat behind when he went on the run in a $17 million <laughs> and <laughs> other thing scheme in Southern California. Michael James Pratt, 37, is accused of using force, fraud, and coercion to get young women and minors to things I can't say on websites I can't say between 2012 and 2019, according to the Bureau. Links in the description. No, they're not. <laughs> After recruiting victims through online ads for clothing modeling jobs, Pratt, a partner, and several accomplices allegedly offered them $3,000 to $5,000 each to participate in one-day things and falsely assured them the material would only be distributed to private collectors on DVDs and would never be posted online. Some who refused weren't allowed to leave until they complied, while others were, mm -hmm, the FBI said. The website generated more than $17 million in revenue before a warrant was issued for Pratt's arrest in November, the FBI said. Pratt fled his home in Hidden Meadows, California last year, leaving his cat in the care of a pet sitting service he hired to check in daily, according to the San Diego Union Tribune. Following his disappearance, criminal charges were filed against Pratt and several co-defendants in San Diego federal court, and he was also slapped with a $12.7 million verdict in a civil case brought on by 22 women whose mm -hmm, were posted online, the Union Tribune said. Well, there he is, ladies and gents. Take it in, drink it all in, have a good look. If you see that man, turn that man in, whether there's money involved or not. Now, I ain't gonna blame you if you're ten grand richer after the fact, but this guy needs to be caught, collected, and go to jail. Let's all pretend like our opinions matter, and leave them in the comments below, and remember this is social media, so do all the things.